Okay guys, it's getting cold, so I'm getting ready to put the uh, go-kart up for a little while, but I wanted to make sure I got the, all the rest of the pieces up and um, put it all together first, tested it all out good. I've um, been sitting here for a little while, haven't done much to it, so today, um, yeah, like I said in the last video, there was a few little things I wanted to fix up, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. So I had these little spacers on each of the front wheels that were on here, but I think it was cutting into the the bearings inside the wheel, and it was ruining it because it kind of fell apart. So I bought these ones here. I think that's probably what you're supposed to use. They're more of an actual spacer that goes on there. You're going to tighten it up. So I'll do that on either side. Let's do that. as much because I'm going to have a tire up against the other side. But. <clears throat> show you. Yes. I'm going to fix that tire. Let's put this one on just to see. Cool. I might have to space that out a little bit because look how tight that is. This is almost hitting, hitting the tire here. Hmm. So I think I will. Let me pull that off. Get a little bit of space. Come on. Get out of there. All right. So I'm just gonna measure roughly double the width of this thing here so as if there was two of them I wish I had another one it'd probably be simpler but I only have three I believe yeah so I'll just space it right about there actually the thing I'm gonna do first is put a little bit of Loctite on here so it doesn't I'm loose like some of my other things have been doing. That was kind of the issue before on some of the things. So I got this stuff here. That just keeps the things from threading out and getting loose as we vibrate over time. I'll put a little a couple of dabs of that on. Right, maybe inside. Right there. As it spins in, it should get in there, but also, oops, maybe on here as well, rub it in with our fingers. I'll keep it from loosening up over time, I think, I hope. I'll have to keep checking how tight this is over time. So again, I'll put that puppy on there, space it about right there, and do the same with the other side. Okay. Nice and tight. <clears throat> okay. Remember that's got to be on the outside so you can inflate the tire on the outside if you need to. Looks much better, you can see that. Space is there now. I'm not gonna worry about rubbing and popping the tire. Alright, so from there, I'm gonna put a nut on the outside here. Ooh, if you can see that. Do the same with some of this other red stuff. Loctite. I'll put it on the threads here. Make sure that's in all the way, nice and tight. I'll rub that in good. We put a little bit on the nut itself, just in case. A 
washer on first. Take this puppy up. tight then I'm realizing that the other one is getting pushed in so I'm hoping that's tight enough let's see all right so that's one tire hopefully in good in a good position now the other problem with the other tire is we got to fix I'm gonna put some more bearings in because we destroyed the last ones because of the way that was on there so let's go over to the other side and we'll check that out Actually, I just remembered I got these special nuts that are like this. I got the, uh, it's like a lock, a lock nut. It's got that special plastic that helps it from getting loose on there. So I'm going to pull this one off and put one of those new ones on. Like the back tires I already had. For some reason, the front tires didn't come with those. Looks like there's still some of that red stuff on there so that should help it as well let's put this puppy on see it's really tight it goes on really tight because that plastic helps keep it keep it nice and tight so let's see hopefully that should help quite a bit Good. Let's go to the other side. Okay, see this wheel, each front wheel has a bearing on this side. It helps spin on the axle right attached to the wheel, but it also lets it free spin in there. Now this one was broken on the other side, on the inside. So I got these new ones. And I don't know how they work to be honest, but I think we just hammer them in here. It's a little tight of a fit, so I just kind of sanded it down, make sure it didn't have anything sticking out in the way. Bits of paint and stuff. So I'm just going to set it in here like that. And see if we can tap it in. I don't have my mallet, so I'm going to just use a little bit of paper towel for a dampener here. Looks like it's just about in there. See it? Give it a little more to tap. I think we're good. Spins freely in there. I realize too that we're probably going to put some grease in. That's what this is for. It's a little grease fitting. So you shoot grease in there. It helps keep this thing greased up while you're driving. So I'll have to get one of those before we go too far. Uh, okay, but yeah, let's try that now over here So I already got this piece on I put the The uh, Loctite on there and I measured it out about the same And so that grease fitting goes on the inside and the air Setting or the air nozzle goes on the outside Right in there Scrape those threads down a little bit, a little dirty from different dirt and things, probably a little, a little rust and corrosion and stuff. I'll spray it with a little WD 40 to help clean it up. Keep everything working good. Oh. Oh, 
let's put a little bit of this on there. A little bit of dirt in there already. Put that in there good. Get one of our lock nuts with the plastic on it. A little bit on there too maybe. Wobbling, coming off pretty well last time. And that this drove it. This should protect the bearings. Keep the wheel on nice and tight. All right. Okay. So the front wheels are good. Oh crap! I forgot to put my washer on. Don't. That. The bearing on this side, I did get a few extras this time in case I need them. I'll place them again when we can. A few spare parts. Oh. Man. Always stays on there good with that plastic lock washer. Okay, so that's good. So let's move to the back axle where we had some issues. I didn't have enough of these, these cut locking collars to hold everything in place back there. So let's go put those on. All right, you can kind of see that that chain is off center a little bit. It's, it's kind of skewed that way a little bit. And I've noticed the whole thing is really loose. And over here as well Oops. so I think I'm gonna take both wheels I'm gonna jack this up a little bit here and put, take both wheels off and, and uh, make sure I got everything centered properly again here spinning the whole axle makes it a live axle on the back so that you have two wheel drive in the back instead of just one wheel spinning all right so this first collar here is four and a quarter inches 
from the end and the other one matches that so that's good so that'll keep the tires nice and even I'm gonna make sure we have keyways in each here for the each wheel which I think I might have lost one else it's in oh it's still on the tire here there it is Where's that All right, so this is doing its job. I'll probably pull it out though and put some of that Loctite on just to make extra sure that it's uh, not gonna move. But then also we need to have, I think I didn't have one at the time. Maybe that's why it wasn't, that's probably why the brakes weren't working actually. Cause I need a keyway in there to keep. So as this thing, as the axle spins, this should spin with it. And that way when the brake clamps down on it, it's going to slow this down and along with it the axle which is what makes you stop so i got to put a keyway in there and i got to put a, another collar up against it so it doesn't fall out and i think i need one on the other side as well so i'm going to take those out and slide it around a little bit and i need to line this thing up <coughs> see how it's kind of Right about there looks pretty good, you know what, not there or there, but right in the middle somewhere. So it's nice and lined up with the top. I think it already has a collar here and a collar over here keeping this um, sprocket in place. So that's good, but I'll probably again pull out those, put some Loctite on them just to make sure. <clears throat> and then what holds this to the frame is this collar, which that one came loose. You can kind of see it's all loose. And I think there should be another one on the other side. Keep it from sliding. Actually, maybe this one and the other one should hold it steady, I think, from sliding on the frame. Once I get that evened out. So let's do some measuring up here and tighten up things as we go. Try to hold that right where it is so we don't lose our place. Just throw some stuff right on it where it is, probably. As it screws in, it should. Suck it right in there, hopefully. Get to push it down in there a little bit. down there <clears throat> nice. all right these were coming undone too so I'm gonna loosen these out and put some Loctite on here as well so I don't lose my place here. I kind of run out of this stuff, so i got to use it sparingly. If I just put some of that on, it should spread through all the threads pretty nicely. See that? This is the rear um, 
bearings. You can see inside there probably. It's got those same kind of bearing things, so it helps this thing spin nicely. should be I think I got this centered pretty well let's see how that looks I think that looks pretty good right there so then we gotta use these two this one and the other one on the other side here so those two will kind of each get tightened down and hold the whole axle stationary on the frame. So it won't allow it to slide back and forth like this anymore once I tighten those and get them in the right position. I think that's good. So we'll pull that out and put some Loctite on each. See how that looks. Alan, right here. There it goes. See how that fits over top of it? Is a special kind of collar that fits over the edge. Let's make sure I'm lined back up again right here. That's about right. So we'll just make sure we're on top of that. We're lined up still. Put our screw back in. Get some lock tight. This is flush to the outside here. This, this bearing here. As opposed to push in because then it was slime. Okay, that's nice and tight. Let's do the other side. <coughs> Before I was lining up the screw with this keyhole. But that screw wasn't long enough to do that, so I think that was part of my problem. It was kind of going in too far. Extras over there, but kind of a pain to get it on. Some of these go on, have to go on before you put anything else on, and some can go on after. This is one of those that kind of has to go on uh, before in order because it slides on as opposed to clamps on like this one after. Well, I gotta get some pressure pushing on against it, I think. 
start to catch in these threads. Trying to get something down in there. Kind of get me a little pressure maybe. Suppose, let me see what I got for the other ones. Probably gonna go on first. Yep, it's gotta go on first. Well, so means I gotta take all this stuff off here, which you gotta do anyway, I think, because of this. So let me take that apart. This one's gotta come off. I'm gonna take these things out, I think. To Maybe I could just slide that off. Let's see. Okay. Dropping everything today. Come here. I finally got it. I had to get this thing off. And they're coming off. There we go. And I guess now that I got this off, might as well replace it with the whole new piece that I got. That one looks a little rusty already. Alright, so. Alright, so that should go in first, and then this. side as well. Let's see.
Yep, good. push it in so it's nice and tight up against that other lock collar hopefully I'm still straight on my chain and looks pretty good <clears throat> and we're gonna tighten this new one up from the inside make sure it's on there good like it is. I'll back it out. Put some Loctite on it. Oops. That's a tight one. keyway in. Spin this around. And you can see the keyway. So maybe that's the point of the... Ow. That's my finger. Line that up just about like right that. That lines up with my brake. Pad and put this puppy in there. I think that's the right size. That should go in there. Side just to keep that key from coming out. There it goes, tight up against there. Evenly doing one turn and another turn. It's back and forth so it's nice and evenly spread. So I have one side tight and the other side kind of loose. <clears throat> Whole thing will be tight but it'll be just a little uneven. That's all. Alright, so now we need to find my little piece that goes in there. Oh, to hold down the brake. Too big. What am I doing that thing? Oh. Must have fallen out when I took it off or when I was banging it trying to get it out. There it is. That must be it, the black one. I was looking for silver, I thought it was silver because the rest of it is, but I guess not. Alright, a little bit of thread lock on there. It's 
so this will keep it from coming out too but kind of like an extra a little bit of extra safety precaution here Okay, so the brake now will spin with the axle. So that when I clamp down on it, it should slow the vehicle down. That's a problem I was having before, it wasn't slowing down. Alright, so now I'm just going to tighten up these, and I think we're almost done. This just holds the, the sprocket from moving. Got a little better angle on this. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna go this way. Nice and tight. Okay. I'll get one more on this side here. Slide this. All right, that one's tightened down. And I re hook up my brake here. Just put that back through. Put another one of these cotter pins in there. Split this up. There's my pliers. Quite so long, so cut it. Tuck it up here. This one kind of messed up, so I'm just going to fix. Thought I had to take that one out, but I guess I didn't. This one I kind of cut, so I'm gonna see if I can split it. It doesn't come out. Probably should put another one of those in. What do you think? Maybe I will. If I can get that one out. Seems like a pain to get out sometimes. Just cut it, maybe. Grab another one. That's another 
big one. Let's see if that one fits through there, hopefully. Oh no. That might be a little too big. Let's see. Good enough for now, I think. I have another one, so that's gonna have to work. Okay. And that's that. So then I'm gonna put some more keyways and then the wheels. Actually, before I do that, I think I'm gonna spray paint this brake, uh, brake line here. Getting a little rusty. Let me scrape off some of this rust. It's already rusted up here too. Look at that. Put this other tire stopper back on here at exactly four and a quarter inches. We figured out. Make sure that's where the other one is. Yep, four and a quarter. Okay. I already had some of the thread lock on there, so I'll just tighten it down. back on with the key keyway keyway here make sure the keyway here lines up with the keyway there In. 
Actually, we could probably So we're in there up against our oh, almost. Not quite. Let's go a little further. Okay. And we should be able to tighten it down with the nut. Get it all the way in there. Put a little bit of this thread lock on just to help. All that plastic washer. It's really good at keeping this thing nice and tight. See if I got a socket big enough. I think it's probably not. No. Oh, Nice and good till we're nowhere. Nice and tight up against that, that collar in the back there. Thinking we are. You can see that as my wheel spins. My axle spins, spins the chain, that means that. When the motor spins, right, it's spinning the chain, it's going to spin this wheel with it. That's what that keyway does. It keeps the tire spinning with the axle. Alright, let's do the same on the other side, and I think I'm ready to give it a little test run. Keyways on top, I can see it. Right in there. Lining up the keyway with the keyway. Hard, so I think I'll just use the washer to, and the nut, suck it right in there. There Thread lock, handy dandy thread lock on there. Slowly but surely, it's coming. Now oh, the plastic's catching. 
thread lock. Alright, so now you can kind of see the whole thing maybe. If I spin one tire, the chain moves and everything moves together. That's how we want it. That's two wheel, two wheel drive. So you don't be peeling out hills in the snow and stuff. Alright, let me pull it down, clean up, and we'll give it a test drive. Alright, let's see if we can remember how to start this thing. We got our switch on up in the front, right? Switch is on here. Our switch is gonna be on on the actual motor. That red one here, I think. Okay. One down is that's on and that's off, so we're good there. <clears throat> Checker. Let's see, what is this one? It's off. And it's on. That's the gas, so that gas is actually on. This one is okay, so we gotta have it over here when we start it. And over here is on the slowest speed. So we'll see if we can crank this puppy up. See if she starts. She does.
of fast. All right. So it's like a pretty successful run. I'll just go over to make sure everything is all tight, tight still, but I think it is. The steering's a little, a little jumpy still, but uh, everything looks tight. It's working good. I think we're, I think we're good to go. I think, uh, like I said, the steering is really kind of turns really quick. You could probably get in an accident. So I think I'm gonna, I think I said it before, but I didn't do it, get a chance to do it yet. But yeah, I'm gonna have to weld on something so it doesn't steer quite so fast or so so far so I'll probably put a piece of metal there and a piece of metal here to, to stop it from turning so much so quick I'll research some other ways of adjusting that but uh, yeah so far so good it looks good I'm gonna cover it up keep it because it's gonna be raining for the next couple all right I love you guys I'll see you soon bye